All right, guys. What we're going to do is um, we're going to uh, we're going to talk about a few things as a group. Then we're going to get to uh, then we're going to get to four separate groups, and then we're going to come back together as a group. And that's going to take probably 45 minutes to do all that. It sounds like it's going to be really quick, but trust me, it'll take a good 45 minutes. Um, and hopefully, by the end of it, we'll have a good grasp on chapter 17, section three. Have any of you guys taken a look at it or no? No reading, nothing. Okay. All right. Basically, what it's about is uh, Luther leads the reform. Does anybody have anything to add on that? Anything that they, they want to know, that they need to know? What's reform? You guys have covered reform before, right? Here's what I'm going to do also. I don't know names very well. I'm not very good at names. I'm going to call on you, and I'm going to call the wrong name probably. Correct me. All right? Go ahead, Rick. Okay, good. All right, now I know. Quentin. Got it. So what's reform? Uh, reform is a change in something to make it better depending on what the reform is. Perfect, perfect. So when we talk about Luther leads the reform, what do you think we're going to be talking about? Do you have any idea who Luther is? Uh, no. Okay. okay, anybody else have anything to add to reform? Ulysses, nothing? I see a little smile back there. Anything? Okay, you're absolutely right. I just want to see if anybody else wanted to uh, expound on what he said. But basically, yeah, it's a movement for religious reform is what we're going to cover today. So as far as what we know, so, so far... <coughs> So far, we've got uh, we've got reform. We know what that is. Okay, and what's reform? Movement to make things better. Reform, orange. <coughs> Shannon, right? No. Okay. Okay. Make things better. Make things different, right? So everybody's got reform. Okay. So about about Luther leads reform. What do we want to know about it? Okay, hang on, one at a time. So, John, what's changing? What is changing? What's your name? Okay. All right. What's changing? Another one. What else do we want to know? Jason. I'm pregnant. Okay. Because Luther is. So, who the heck's Luther? Another one. Another one. Kennedy, boom. Where is it taking place? Where is it taking place? Good, good. Anybody else? Um, why? Why is the reform happening? Really good. Uh, when is this taking place? When? Okay. Anybody else? Any other questions? Kennedy. What's that? Who's it going to affect? Way back. The time period. Okay, causes of reformation. 
In this handy dandy worksheet, I put some areas if you have, um, if there's any kind of terms that you need to know, that would be under there. But what you're going to do is you're going to become an expert and we're going to do an exercise called a jigsaw. So after you guys spend about 20 minutes becoming experts in your sub area, what you're going to do is we'll start with group one and they'll spread out to the other groups and what they're going to do is teach you. You guys paying attention back there? I don't, I'm lost. I don't know. Okay, listen, listen, listen. I'll play it one more time real quick. You're going, to become, you're going to become an expert in the section that you're supposed to be doing. And after all that's done, we're going to take turns spreading out to other groups. It's called a jigsaw. You're going to spread out to other groups, and you're going to teach those other groups. So everybody in your group has to know all of the information under your subset. And it's usually about three paragraphs, so it's not a lot. So it shouldn't be hard for you guys to figure out. Good to go? Everybody understand? Yeah? Okay. Tattooed on your arm.